What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to be showing you how to create a sign up and login page with Swift and Firebase. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for this tutorial we're going to be using the Firebase authentication pod which allows developers to authenticate users easily and securely. So you need to jump into the Firebase console and enable the sign in method to log in with our application. In the Firebase console under authentication tab, hit the sign in method and enable the email and password provider and then go ahead and click save. So jump into Xcode and create a new Xcode project and add the Firebase SDK. Our tutorial will show you how and link will be in the description. Make sure you add the authentication pod to your pod file. So after you've added the Firebase SDK, in Xcode you want to create a layout for the login and sign up page. I added a segmented control, two text fields for the email and password and also a button. You also want to create outlets for all these elements to your Swift file and also add an action for your button. So we're going to be creating two functions, one to log a user in and also to sign a user up. So we need to import the Firebase or file to use the SDK. So at the top you just want to write import Firebase auth to do this. So in the login function we want to check if the text fields are empty. If it is it will print a message. We want to use the sign in with email function to log in the user. If the error is equal to nil it will try to log in with the email and password. If it fails, it will print another error message. So in the sign up method, we're going to check if the email text field is empty. And if it is, we'll print an error. Otherwise, we're going to use the create user with email method to create a user with the email and password. And then if the error is equal to nil, you will get a message saying you've signed up. Otherwise, it will print an error. In the action for your button, you want to call the login and sign up functions. You want to use the segmented control to control whether the user is logging in or registering. So I'm using the selected index to do this. So if the selected index is equal to zero, it will run the login function. Otherwise, if it's equal to one, it will run the sign up function. So if you go ahead and click build and run, your login and sign up page should be working fine. You will first have to register a user if you want to check everything is working correctly. So go ahead and enter an email and password and select register in the segmented control. And it should register the user to the Firebase account connected. So if you try to log in with the user details, everything should be working fine. If you guys want to see some more Firebase tutorials, hit us up with a comment down below, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video.